this section, we'll be talking about the effects of bugs on hosts. First, the bugs bite the host and sucks its blood. And it causes irritation to animals and birds. It also disturbs the sleep of the host. And the host can also feel intense irritation due to saliva. Bugs feed then defecates on or near the bite wound that could provide disease transmission. Hepatitis antigen can be seen in feces of bugs and can affect susceptible individuals. And lastly, trichoma bugs are used in seno diagnosis technique to detect trypnosoma cruzi in humans. So how do we control these bugs? Organophosphorus and organochlor compound can be used as sprays and powders to be applied in acrocs and cervixes. And synthetic pyrethroids are also effective. So arthropoda and arachnida. In this section, we will be talking about the difference between insects and arachnids. Insects, body is divided into head, thorax, and abdomen. While in arachnids, body division is not marked. It consists of a single large piece. In insects, head usually shows the presence of antenna. While in arachnids, antenna may or may not be present. In insects, Wings may be present or absent, while in arachnids, they have no wings at all. In insects, adults shows the presence of three pairs of legs, while in arachnids, four pairs of legs in adults and nymphs, and three pairs in the case of larvae. In insects, metamorphosis is complete or either incomplete. In arachnids, metamorphosis is always incomplete. And lastly, in insects, oviparous or or larviparous while in arachnids it's always oviparous thank you for listening